Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. I am JDZ Gaming Empire. What the heck is going on behind me? We are here in the Emerald Graves with our shiny new armor and weapon. And we need to go speak to somebody named Fairbanks. Oh, y'all getting on my nerves. Y'all all in the way. All right. Look at a map real quick. I know um, the last episode we were trying to get over here and was not, we were not successful. So I'm hoping that maybe Fairbanks is over in this. Well, he is over in this way, but maybe we can get to this exclamation mark from going to see him. So let's proceed. Oh, y'all getting all in my way. Oh, yeah, they got their own little establishment going on here. Five of 26 regions discovered. I wonder of, if my village is still standing. A lot of stairs, or not stairs, but ladders. Take that. Now, I want, before I speak with Fairbanks, he's probably over here somewhere. Uh, oh, nope, there he is, right there. I want to see, I want to go over here. Yep, this is exactly where we had to come. We had to go speak with Fairbanks first or get in his area and then come in here. Okay, well, let's go talk with Fairbanks. Please move along. What? I wasn't bothering you. All right, where'd he go? He was standing. Okay, he's kneeling. It is an honor to meet the Herald of Andraste. You're too kind. As much as I admire you, however, I did not reach out to the Inquisition just for this. As my missive stated, we can help each other. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the free men are colluding with your enemy. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the free men bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the free men, and they'll lead you straight to the red Templars. This I promise. Hmm. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freemen is right here, in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. Hmm. Examine Fairbanks' documents. Oh, great. Fast travel is here. What else in this little area? Anything? Right, that's leading out. Uh, let's... Oh, look at that statue. Let's head up before we go into this other area. Might be a landmark up here. Okay, this isn't dangerous or anything. Where is she coming from? Can we both walk on this walkway together without knocking each other off? Yes. There's nothing up here? I thought there might be a landmark up here. There is, all the way over here. The Watcher, 5 of 22. I don't know who first called this place Watcher's Canyon. I know it's named for the strange hooded figure overlooking the, the ravine. No one knows who he is. People in these parts always refer to him as the Watcher. He must have had an elven name. Perhaps he was one of their gods. None of the elves here can tell me. I don't think they know, they even know anymore. In this cave, Watcher's reach? Well, he's reaching down into it, isn't he? Maybe with him guarding us, we'll survive this war from Fairbanks Journal. Yeah, he's 
he's definitely reaching down. He's looking down upon something. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Where are you guys going? There is nothing, literally nothing up there. All right, let's go in. Uh, not that way. Let's go in here. A difficult announcement. I am sorry to tell you of the lives we have lost. Gertrude, Chauvin, Devin, and Jots were taken by Sister Gusteau's men while hunting. They are dead. I pray the Maker have mercy on their souls. Three men are preparing for something, stocking up on supplies and men. Patrols range further each day. Be careful where you go. When you forage, keep close by. To prevent more deaths, we must look out for each other. Soldiers among us have volunteered to guard and patrol Watcher's Reach, so the rest of you stay safe. With heavy heart, your friend and protector, Fairbanks. Hmm. Okay, so he lost some people. A torn page. Needed more elf root, so I went with him to the grove by that strange rock on the road that looks like a grumpy old woman smoking a pipe. Three men were there. They didn't see us at first, but Briar stepped on a twig. I didn't think that happened in real life, only in stories. That damn twig. It barely got away. Didn't like having to tell Fairbanks we lost the herbalist. Crap, they're going to kill us all one by one. Hmm. What? That's... That's all? That's it? For the notes? Go to the Viridian Mine. We'll look at that in just a minute. Some Veilfire here. We're in the Dales, and I haven't seen any Dalish. Really? Man, somebody's having a good time. Battleground State. It seems a bitter twist of fate to discover that half of Thetis does not consider my homeland a nation at all. Kinari maps depict the island as part of their territory, without any ambigu ambiguousness to the claim. I can only assume this is because all islands within the Boric Ocean naturally fall under their jurisdiction. The Deventer maps, meanwhile, still proudly show the entire island as part of the Imperium. Even though Imperial control outside of small pockets is little more than fiction, and changes whenever the Canari return their attention to the area. Imperial reports speak of fog warriors as if we are beasts, little better than darkspawn or dragons. Dangerous element of the wilderness, best avoided or eliminated, but ultimately of no consequence. It angers me to read these things. Ours is a land that has been shaped by war, as no other. Long ago, the Imperium came, and after centuries of trying and failing to turn us into compliant Imperial citizens, Kanari came instead. They conquered Chiron and attempted to convert us. Neither side succeeded in taking our freedom, and though battle after bloody battle have ground our ancient halls of wisdom practically to dust, we still dream of the land that was. The fog dancers who travel with each band of warriors regale them with the legends of old and keep the songs of our people alive. They sat with the griffins of the Grey Wardens. They say that the griffins of the Grey Wardens came from Sharon. They tell us of the ancient curse of Nahar that brought the fog and the promise that will one day lift it. They speak of the march of four winds of the lost people who fled to the northern islands and the great he heroes who learned at the feet of the elves. Are the old tales true? We may never know. All that remains of the land Sharon once was is gone. But I know we will make them true someday. From A Land of Fog by Brother Asher Vale. Very interesting. Let's look at this Fallen Sister quest. Fallen Sister, Fairbanks' documents mentioned a free man target named Sister Costeau, who was last stationed at the Viridian Mine in the Emerald Graves. Go to the Viridium Mine. Where's that at? Oh, okay. It's up there. Uh, it's 
something in there. Okay, we have a lyrium deposit possibly over here and a smuggler's letter there. I well, I want to go there before I hit up this camp. I think I'd rather open up this camp first. So we might um, get this red lyrium before we go to the Viridium mine. It's pretty here. I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood to talk right now. Uh, excuse me. I'm not talking to you, Clara. I'll talk to you in a minute. Wolf Falls. Even with countless gallons of water rushing down over it for centuries, the wolf statue remains intact. Magic, perhaps? From Fairbanks' journal. Oh yeah, look at that. You would think the water would have eroded that stone, but it's not. Solus, are you at work? Um, I'm going to talk to you anyways, even if you don't want to talk to me. I can't believe they're gone. Just like that. That's it? I don't want to talk right now. Maybe later. Okay, all right. I'll leave you alone. I see a scroll or something in here. Map of Watcher's Pass. Okay, so it's near a bridge with a big tree and painting of some type of animal. I don't know if it's a deer, elk, what that is. Okay, we have a new map. I can't believe he's making us hide out here like mice. Like mice? Uh, energize this for me. <laughs> Okay, there is something in here. We need to find it. Something that's gonna maybe give us a a um rune. What's your tongue? It will we will hear some a tingling noise when we get close. What? What did she say? Hmm. Doesn't want us leaving camp because it's dangerous. We're in danger just sitting here. Well, maybe not. I don't want to talk right now. Maybe later. Hmm. We shall see. Oh, can I go over here? Uh, this looks like somewhere I should not be going. All right, where we need to oh, yes. put this light, this veil fire, or where's this veil fire gonna light up at? I guess somewhere out here. I don't recall seeing anything over this way. Uh, it's the way we came in. Don't look for trouble. Uh, right, I don't think, no. Definitely not up this far. Typically, it's not far from the Veil Fire. Let's go down this path. Leaving the camps just asking for trouble. Some people want to leave the camp. Some people want to stay. Rash fine. I'll take it. Oh, okay. Right here. Good. Superb lightning rune. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Let's um go see about this red lyrium deposit. 
which is well, let's just see where this leads while we're here can we go this way looks like we can um, well it's taking us all around the mountain hmm Well, we need to discover this area anyway, so let's, uh, let's do it. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention on Blackwood's Blackwood Blackwall's weapon, I put Put a master corrupting rune on it. Don't look for trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. Isn't this our camp? Yep. Okay, so we're headed toward our camp. All right. Make sure we're going the right way. Oh, this, see, this map is con really confusing. Really confusing. So now it's got us headed back this way, but I guess above ground. The watcher is below ground. Really confusing. Is there nothing else this way? I want to see. Let's put a marker here. Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like a bunch of rocks we can't get to. Well, there's a, a structure up there. Back into the camp. Get uh, Dorian back to full health here. Okay, we can't go. Can't get to it from here. We use any potions. remember you using jar of bees and I thought I filled everything. Guess I did not. Hey, okay, he's off. Everybody else is good. So we can't get back here at all. All right, let's not waste time. There's no ladder to get up there. Okay. That's to the Dales, right? not to the Dales. Let's remove this marker and put it up here. Yeah, that's to the Dales. Where does this lead to? Are we back in the Dales? Yeah, we are. All right. Yeah, there's the veil symbol. 
So it pays to, to find those. You get some good runes. Same old. Be careful if you leave the camp. We're watching you. Regions in the Graves, six discover. Villa Morel. August Ram. August Ram, is that a <clears throat> crafting material? Um, creature, maybe. August Ram. The August Ram, surely whoever named it Ram, had never seen its more common cousin. The slender legs and sleek hide give the animal the grace of a heart or halla. Its curved horns spiral back over delicate ears, twitching at the slightest rustle of grass. On startled speed is the August Ram's only defense against the hunter. It is difficult to sneak up on these shy and wary creatures, but I have been here so long and shown such mild behavior that I've gained their trust. The rams graze peacefully, a stone's throw from my sketching easel as I write this, thinking no more of me than a rock in the field or a flower in the grass. I just wish... Uh, yeah, I just wish the rotten things would stop trying to eat my canvases whenever I leave camp. Oh, wait. I'm like, what? Some things you have to use the left uh, thumbstick for, and some you have to use the right. That's kind of confusing, too. From the diary of Tillendale Lemonon, noted painter of wildlife and portraits to the Elysian court. And then we had the arcane whore here. Upon ascending to the second floor of the tower, a gruesome sight greeted us. A ragged collection of bones wearing the robes of one of the senior enchanters. I had known her for years, watched her raise countless apprentices, and now... She was a mere puppet for some demon, transcribed from a tale told by a Templar in Antiba City, 713 Storm. Research damage against undead increased. All right. All right, we're getting close. Oh, what's this quaint little house? It's a church. It's like a church. Hmm, what's going on down there? Okay, that's new. We haven't been there yet. There's this baddie over here. Let's see what's in here. There's a locked door with a fire pit. Duhame's notes. The shipments are prepared, and once again, the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look in the crates. Scrounging for food, no doubt, sneaky little peasants. Perhaps traps next time. Hmm. Alright, 
take all of that. Here we go. What in the world? It looks almost like it almost looked like an animal from the distance. Let's destroy this. Alright, 11, we got one more to find. Oh, there's a tunnel here. A cave. Let's go in here. Oh, there's a lot of baddies here. Man, that did a bunch of damage. I have to build my focus up again to use that. Feel my throwing blades going off. I like that. Um, let's see, I don't want to rush over here yet. Yeah, because that's going to a new area. Let's finish over here. We need to go into that, that cave. Something down there as well. Oh, there's some big baddies down there. Key required. Find a key to Villa Moral. I wonder if one of these big bad boys down here has it. Over this way. <clears throat> yep. Like somebody down here has the key that we require. Oh, nice. Oh, got a big boy, big boy here. Big boy here. That should relieve some of the refugees' worries. <laughs> I can do this all day. Dang, Dorian! Good lord, you took a beating. Heal yourself. Ooh, what is this? A great axe, two-handed. That's what the uh, big baddie was using. Oh, there's the key. I knew it. I knew it. Let's just see what's over here since we're here. Let's claim this. The Betrayer, 7 of 22. Even Mafarath, the Betrayer, had a part to play. Who are we to say elves do not? From a sermon given by Sister Amida at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. I saw some loots up here. No loot over here? I thought somebody... I thought Dorian killed somebody. Yeah, over here.
Nice. Take that. Sell it. Who is that a picture of? Hmm. Read. Duhame's notes. August has made progress in the exalted plains. We are together in this, but Mark Maker's breath. How that irks me. That weapon, or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs, is mine by rights. Malifunk trusts me most. Bah, he won't have it. Not while I live. Hmm. Okay, so they were searching for... Fighting over a weapon? Hard in Hightown, Chapter 9 by Varric Tedris. Donan Brennakovic was running out of leads to chase. He only had two weeks left until retirement. Just two weeks to find the man who'd murdered a magistrate and a Hightown nobleman. Captain Hendelin didn't kick him from the ranks first. The docks stank of piss and rotting fish, as foul as the men and women who worked there. But that was where Donan had to go to find the raider Captain Belladonna, who had broken into the Comte de Favre's home. The dragon's jewels was a bit, was a big goat, big boat. She liked big boats. The pointy bits towered majestically over the water. That roundish wooden part seemed like it could crush Armadis beneath its crap. I don't know wood. It was the greatest boat in the history of boats. But even from the dock, Donna knew something was wrong. He ran up the gangplank to find a dead sailor on the deck and a blood trail leading down into the hold. Donnan drew his sword and followed. His eyes still hadn't adjusted to the dimness of the lower decks when he tripped over a second dead sailor, stabbed in the gut, and left where he'd fallen. The body was still warm. The ship creaked with its every swell of the waves. Donnan held his breath and crept deeper into the hold. He barely deflected the blade in time. Steel rang against steel. Donnan parried a second blow still half blind in the low light. Third swing got past his guard and left a wicked slash in his forearm. Nobody attacks my crew, you flaming pile of dog crap, the attacker swore, and Donnan recognized her voice. Hold, Kirkwell city guard, he shouted, barely bringing his blade up in time. You again? Donnan's eyes finally began to adjust and he could make out Captain Belladonna. She was clutching her ribs with her right hand, a dagger in her left, and was covered in enough blood that Donnan was sure it wasn't all hers. She glowered at him. Could have used a guard not five minutes ago. Useless as ever. She grudgingly lowered her weapon. Donnan sheathed the sword. Who did this? Don't know. Didn't care to ask, she sniffed. Bastard killed two of my men before I cut off his hand and he bolted. She waved indifferently toward the rear of the hold. It's over there somewhere. Did he take the comp shipment? Donnan asked. No, if that's what this is, was all about, you can have it. She limped over to a trunk and removed a bundle of cloth tied with twine. She threw it at Donnan's feet. Good riddance. <laughs> Varric. I like Varric's stories. I do. All right. Let's go back to the cave. Villa Morel. Uh oh. What are we going to have in here? Discovery. The Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. 
Oh. War always brings opportunists. Okay, well, there's obviously a bunch of baddies in here. Deal with the Maleficent. When did they arrive? A few hours ago. He's talking with them now. Hello, bads people. Hello, bads people. I'm here to kill you. Scales. Hmm, okay, good. And let's see what's over here before we adventure into opening doors. Crafting materials, that's good. I believe I, this place is nice. I believe I got everything that's in this room. All right, let's go next door. Discovered East Hall. Uh oh. Should there's... we look around? Oh yeah, we're definitely looking around. Part of key. There's a rune inscribed on it, or part of one. Okay. So there's some other keys we need to find. There are fragments of a ruined key scattered throughout. Villa Morale. If the fragments are reassembled, the key may unlock something of value. Hmm, okay. I like the sounds of that. Anything else in here? It does not look like it. Cellar, wine cellar. Where are we at? Okay, we came in through there. Okay, there's a key fragment there. And after we deal with the the, the big baddie, there's also going to be another one. This is a nice room, too. We missed some loot over there. Let's read this. Servant's letter. A neatly pinned note addressed to the villa's former owner. My lord, everything is in order for your departure. I've granted leave to all non-essential staff and arranged transportation for the time you requested. I have taken the liberty of securing the more valuable items in your personal storeroom. I trust you will find everything to your satisfaction, Artem. Artem. Nothing else in here? Okay, let me go. Look like I said I missed a loot bag over here. I did. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, there's some enemies out this window. Yep, right out there. We'll get to them in just a minute. Okay, that's to them. Um, I'd rather, before we go out there, because where does that take us? Um, it takes us over this way, I'm thinking, and down that, down that way. So let's go back. Let's do some backtracking and go over here and get this. I 
thought I'd collect this loot. It's not. Did I miss this too? Maleficent's journals. Maleficent kept se several journals. This one spans the time Maleficent spent as a sergeant in the Imperial Army. I see Laurent's death in my mind all the time. The man who killed her, one of the usurper soldiers, was familiar. I wouldn't be surprised if I once shared a drink with him. Isn't that how it is now, brother against brother? The priests tell me to remember Laurent's life, not her death. So I try to recall years past. Countless times she saved me. The day we first met, when I was a young recruit who almost pissed himself at her barked orders. Because of her, I learned discipline and control. She instilled in me pride in what we did. She taught me how to use a sword. More importantly, she taught me how to keep a sheath. She was fearless, strong, regal, and she was cut down like a common peasant by someone we may have once known. Will anyone remember her? Will Celine? Some pages later. There is a new soldier in our battalion, Gordon. Gordian. He's an odd fellow with an accent I can't place. Like he'd spent time in the marches. Doesn't matter in the end. He's been a comfort listening to me talk about those who died. He also lost friends in Celine's war. And he's tired like we are. He said a very wise thing. There is no war without soldiers. The Empress can't wage her war if we refuse to fight. Orlais should belong to our legions. Oh man. So Celine is got her soldiers fighting, which it's an empire. Soldiers are gonna be fighting. Okay, that's that open area. Right. Let's see. Uh probably, yeah, this there's a door looks like right there. Let's see if we can't. Get over this way. I haven't heard anything from the plane, have you? No, nothing recent anyway. Hmm. Wow, that was a lot happening. A lot of animations going on. I'm glad to see Solus and Dorian both have their garb back now. I don't know why I was missing before. Blackwell's the one that's providing that. Pages from Lord Merrill's journal. The journal of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. I could have a Templar to dinner, and they would be none of wiser. If the Templars haven't gone off to do make or knows what, I might try it. Valerie complains, but the Empress herself has such an advisor. Why not me? The services are useful, and no one could better ensure our security. No matter, the distractions of the city will ease her mind soon enough. Oh, okay, that brought us out to the open area. Here's something. Let's take that. Safekeeping key fragment. Nice, very nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and see what's... Where is this? Remove, remove that now. Let's see what's in here. What is bedroom? Pick that up, though it says it's loot. Sexuality and Thetis. What I find most interesting is that, despite the lack of open discussion on matters of human sexuality, there is commonality to be found on the subject in all Andrastian lands. Typically, one's sexual habits are considered natural and separate from matters of procreation, and only among the nobility. 
where procreation involves issues of inheritance and the union of powerful families. It is considered of vital importance. Yet even there, a noble who has done their duty to the family might be allowed to pursue their own sexual interests without raising eyebrows. The view on indulging lusts with a member of the same gender varies from land to land. In Orlais, it is considered a quirk of character and nothing more. In Ferelden, it is a matter of scandal if done indiscreetly, but otherwise nothing noteworthy. In Tevinter, it is considered selfish and deviant behavior among nobles, but actively encouraged with favored slaves. Nowhere is it forbidden, and sex of any kind is only considered worthy of judgment when taken to awful excess or performed in the public eye. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Jenna TV. Hey, one moment. I thought I had muted my phone, but not. Okay. Did I get everything in here? Ooh, look at this elaborate room. Wow. Lady Morell's Diary. The diary of one of the villa's former owners, the current occupants, tossed it roughly aside. All this fuss over Gasper and Selene. The talk was amusing enough. Now we hear of conflicts between the Imperial Army and the soldiers supporting that usurper. The thought of them coming here is frightful. Mother is right. Our most fashionable acquaintances will summer in the city. We should do the same. Raymond is stubborn, of course. All his little tricks and trinkets are here. I indulge his eccentricities, mostly to annoy Mother, but we cannot have everything sent to Val Royale on such short notice. He does insist we keep Artem on. He refuses to do without the man's services. I suppose he views Artem as another piece of his collection. Still, such devotion to a servant. Hmm. I... I think I have an inkling what's going on there. All right, you guys ready to go do some more fighting? Why is there fire going in these places? I mean, I don't understand that at all. Look, they're waiting, they're ready. How do you make it over here already, Dorian? Uh, let's just take these guys out from over here. Save you. Get rid of that sniper. No, you're not gonna rush me. Good job, team. We are kicking some booty. Oh, here comes some more. Here they come. Oh, this is the big baddie that we need to take out. Down she went. And again, her level. That seems to be the last of them. We struck level low against the Freeman. They're level 15, we were level 18. Red Templar note. Red Templar orders. A letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Maleficent. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services in Empress du Leon. We could always use a few more. Be discreet. Maleficent's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his soldiers. See. Red Templars. 
Why not? Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. They weren't ready for us. Whatever they came for might still be here. Hmm. Fire damage, 41. Oh, I did put um, Dorian's um, electrical staff back on. I think the only one doing fire damage is Vivian. Yeah, he's doing cold. Okay. And I'm not using Vivian this time around. Let's go get this other fragment. This is good. This is good. Crystal Grace. Really pretty here. Oh, some pinging going on. Find a way to reassemble the ruined key. Okay, that was the last fragment. The Exalted March of the Dells. The Chanter's story of the Exalted March of the Dells paints the picture of the righteous faithful raid against heathen savages. But I have long studied the Dells, and I find the acceptance version of the tale to be a poor one, laden with overt pro chantry and pro-human biases. Thus, it is my moral imperative to propose an alternative in person interpretation that the exalted march of the Dells was nothing more than an expansionist ploy hiding behind the mask of faith. It is easy to see on any map how large the Dells are. More importantly, they stand between Orlais and the rest of the South, and would likely have represented a significant obstacle to the Empire's expansion into Ferelden. Naturally, we stood to benefit from propagating the narrative of a hostile, unreasoning people attacking innocent missionaries and making blood sacrifices of good Androstian babies. The likely truth is that the elves merely wish to maintain sovereignty over lands promised to them by blessed Andraste herself, when the humans showed clear intent to undermine their autonomy. Of course, the elves reacted by becoming increasingly isolationist which suited the empire perfectly. Here was a kingdom that spurned diplomatic overtures and that refused to lend aid during the second plight when the darkspawn attacked Montesimar. The Dalish kingdom could not be anything but a dormant threat, one that needed to be crushed before it awoke. Scholars point to the massacre at Red Crossing as the impetus for the Chantre's declaration of an exalted march on the elven kingdom in the Dales. They conveniently ignore the fact that no one alive truly knows what happened at Red Crossing or why the elves attacked. The Chantry's response to the elven aggression that resulted in the slaughter of hundreds was predictable, but in light of my thesis, perhaps we should re-examine the, ev the events of Red Crossing and wonder if the attack was truly unprovoked, or whether it is possible that someone saw benefit in sacrificing an entire village to justify the subjugation of an entire people. From a new perspective on the Exalted March, a pamphlet by an anonymous author published by the University of Orlais in 912 Dragon. Uh, looks like we gotta break that open over there. A long walk to Halashimmer. Halim Cheryl. Only 65 of our group made it to Halim Cheryl. Some gave up. Some sickened, especially the little ones. Bandits stalked us. My mother forgive me. I had to steal food. A child fought me for extra scraps of bread. A few days later, I carried her for miles after her legs gave out. She died, shivering in my arms. I used to have a master, a mage. He fed me well, never beat me, even taught me how to read so I could do his accounts. But if he had a theory or a spell he wanted to test out, get out his daggers, have the other 
Other servants tie me to a post and carve furrows into my skin. I was so afraid. Every time I was sure I would die, but at worst I'd collapse, get bandaged up, and lie in bed too weak to move for days. The other slaves visited me in secret to survey the damage. I'd healed just enough before he needed blood again. That is why I traveled from Val Dorma to the Dales with nothing but rags on my back. That is why there were 105 of us when we set out, all elven. That is why I fell to my knees and wept when we crossed through the gates of my new home, a village for my people. Anonymous account of the long walk is told to Brother Petcor of Ferelden, circa 140 ancient. Wow, that was really sad. Really sad. Uh some more reading. Jeez, there's a lot of reading going on. Just find a way, okay? Rune engraved key required. Okay, that's locked. Ooh, and Draste Sacrifice. What is this? Plus 10% cooldown modifier. Item level 20. Chance on hit. Taunt all enemies within 8 meters for 4 seconds. The wearer of this amulet regenerates mana or stamina at a higher rate. Restriction. Rogue or mage only. Against all odds, Inquisition scouts discovered this amulet under charred fallen rafters of a burned down chantry. A mage who examined it said it felt like all the power in the world. A rogue or a mage? Why in the heck would a rogue or a mage want to taunt the enemies? That means the enemies are going to come after them. <laughs> Why would they want to do that? What is this? Uh, can I read it? A letter to Maleficent. Maleficent, I'm sending men to discuss some changes. It's nothing dire. You'll find the demands perfectly reasonable. Oh, excuse me. We're willing to compensate you for any inconvenience. I want our relationship to be mutually beneficial. It's been going so well, each of us with our crusades. See? All right. Well, it looks like we need to probably bash down that door and then maybe find the key that goes to that door. Have we looked at everything here in on the map? It looks like it. So maybe the key is behind this bashed door. But we will find out in the next episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. And if you are, I'd appreciate it if you give it a, a quick thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys on in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.